Hello. Recently, I uh, wanted to uh, customize Google Maps uh, in a way that uh, I add uh, my custom icons uh, to the map and uh, have them with different colors like this and uh, embed all the information about the icons in the, the HTML file so uh, when people get the HTML file they don't need to get the icons uh, pictures from uh, a web server this way is uh, makes the, the map more portable uh, so when we want to create a marker in uh, Google Maps API uh, we can give uh, the whole path of a SVG uh, uh, icon definition of uh, SVG as a path of the icon which uh, it can be a large uh, string a single string uh, defined as a path of the SVG file uh, and create the icon with that this way we can uh, embed the information of the, all the icons in, in the HTML because uh, each string here is a definition of one icon it's the longest a few thousand uh, bytes uh, for each SVG, for SVG icon mm, but I found the, this task a little bit challenging and uh, let me explain wh what was challenging for me when we create uh, an SVG file in Adobe Illustrator uh, and then save it as SVG save as SVG uh, with one one When we look at uh, the f contents of the file, uh, it's uh, two different paths, one path and one ellipse. Uh, it cannot be uh, defined in one single path. We can combine these uh, two shapes uh, in using compound path and save it now uh, when we compound this path we have uh, just one path but sometimes uh, to reduce the number of uh, decimal points illustrator uh, multiply every number by for example 10 and then scale it back to one tenth uh, this way it the file size is uh, smaller the number of uh, decimal points are less but uh, we have to we have a transform uh, and a scale uh, which uh, means that the path numbers are multiplied multiplied by 10 it's not usable uh, so I found a tool uh, it's editor.method.ac uh, by using which uh, we can uh, we can if, if it's a complex uh, shape we can ungroup them and reorient the path and then save uh, as image it, it removes that scale information of uh, that this way we when we look at the source we have just one single path so we can use it uh, personally I uh, when I want to use the, that path I convert uh, move to uh, symbol from uh, tool uppercase uh, just to make sure that it works uh, 
I found uh, a better way the, than creating uh, something in Illustrator and then uh, using that tool uh, to remove the transform and scale. Uh, I found this uh, website Peak SVG. Using that, I can upload the uh, ordinary JPEG or PNG file. And uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, for example, this one. Uh, when I upload, it has a few filter, uh, several filters to uh, ch change that uh, picture to a um, SVG file. I use this one, ready three in you. And uh, see, it did a great job to convert this file. And I can download uh, the, S the output. Let me save with this name. I can download the output. And then I can go uh, here and uh, open that. SVG file, it's a little bit bigger than so. You can reduce the size and Yeah. Uh, now we can uh, save. Uh, do the same thing. Ungroup. Uh, uh, select everything. Ungroup it. Uh, reorient the path and group them again and save as image. It, now, if lo we look at the source, we have uh, two paths. We, we can. Uh, Select this path here and go to editor. Remove the unnecessary parts. The turn convert this to uppercase just to make sure uh, it works. Now we have uh, a single uh, path defined in a single string. We can use it, uh, copy and paste it uh, here and use, it, uh, use that uh, string as a path of the icon of a marker. Uh, by doing this, I could uh, create these icons in Google Maps. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you.